Hi guys! So recently I made a post about promoting um, small businesses and supporting small businesses, especially at this time. I wanted for you to share either your brand name or your company's name um, so I can Google you and actually search for you on whichever platform it is and I can purchase an item that I think I would like or enjoy or I can use in the video some way or shape or form and a lot of you guys responded so I have purchased a bunch of wonderful products and beautiful creations I always felt like it's so much different when you buy from small business owners they put their heart their soul their sweat their tears their expectations and their letdowns, everything into their products and they stand behind it. And I know I'm not exactly the same type of small business, but I know how much passion you put into what you create. There's something so sweet in purchasing from a person, especially when it's handmade item or when it's a very, very small production company. So I would love everybody to join me in this. And if you like a product, I will definitely link it everywhere. I'll promote it on different platforms of mine. Obviously it's at no charge and I will actually pay for an item. I do not have a PO box, sorry. And um, I find it this way to be more true so that it's not a gift. It's actually something I will use and it's something that I want. So I hope you will join me today in unboxing some of those items, but it's not all of them. So this first one is beautiful jewelry. I did not open most of them yet. <laughs> it is a wonderful piece of jewelry. It comes in a gorgeous box. And the Etsy store is Cat Black Craft Design, to include the card. Wonderful. I love the hollow effect. And she sent me a card and actually sent me a free gift. I guess she figured that that was me. <laughs> Thank you so much, Heather. I really appreciate it. So it comes in a little box. And what do you think it is? Ooh, ah. It is necklaces. Yes, it's crystal handmade jewelry. I, you already know, I adore crystal jewelry. I'm all about it, I swear. So this is a moonstone. And it's hand wrapped, which is what really draw me in. I love the detail, love the clean lines. It looks very professionally done. Looks absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. Plus again, I'm a moon child. So this is a perfect um, addition to my already collection of necklaces. And I probably should do a collection of necklaces on the ASMR channel. <laughs> and she was very sweet to include a Labradorite necklace as well which is something I do not have either. So it's a really good guess. <laughs> Actually, I always wanted Labradorite for a necklace, but never got one, never found one. So this one will, will be just absolutely gorgeous for it. I love the clean lines again. I love Labradorite. It's one of the most <sighs> highly like move, moving pieces of crystals. So Yes, you definitely will see more of this. Oh, there's more. Oh my gosh, hold on. Whoa, she sent me two more. Well, that's... I did not see. <laughs> well, now that's too much. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's another moonstone, I believe. Was it? Yes, with a piece of opal. Oh my god. I wonder if she saw that I, I put a bunch into my favorites or saved <laughs> because it seems like it's the ones that I have saved. <laughs> I purchased one, you know, just to try it out, to see how everything goes. But these are actually the ones that I've put into my card as well. What's this one? That's like a mix of Labradorite and a Moonstone. I have never seen that before. <gasps> Oh my gosh. Well, this is just incredible. 
Thank you so much, Heather. I appreciate it so, so much. Cannot tell you how much I appreciate it. I'll make sure to link everything, guys, once again. I'll post all over the screen here the names so it will be easier for you to find. You oftentimes again ask me, hey, where do you shop for your crystals and for jewelry? And honestly, for the most part, Etsy. Etsy stores is where I get all my crystals and crystal jewelry. Yep, it's the best quality that I've found. It's never fake. As, as far as I remember, it was never fake. Always the real crystals, never plastic stuff. So that's nice, nice too. So now this one, I don't know if the lady actually knows if that was me or not. She wrote to me, I think a couple months ago, um, that she works for Color Street uh, Strips for nails with nail polish. You know I'm obsessed with nail polish. And these are uh, No Time Dry Strips. And her name is Susan Grinder. So thank you so much, Susan. So I ordered a few of these to try out. I have heard of um, sticker nail polishes. But honestly was never um, brave enough to try it out so I thought I'll get some really cool shades that may be slightly harder to find uh, in the liquid nail polish options so these are the four that I've picked so I have this beautiful shimmery uh, clear um, strip then I had this purple with shimmer. I thought that was quite charming too. I love the hollow effect recently. Then I got this one, which is kind of what I'm wearing right now. <laughs> more more yellow, kind of orangey tone to it. Which is, I thought very summery. Would be very nice to try. And I got this one, which is copper with sparkle as well. So you can see... Um, actually six of them here. I'm surprised. I wonder, I wonder how many how many is inside. Might have to do that separately in the video or let you know whether or not I actually recommend these or not. Okay. Then I went to a she shop that's called Epic Soap. And she sent me an email stating that she makes wonderful different bath products like personal hygiene items. Colorful and creative soap, lotion, lip balm, and gifts. Handmade in Santa Fe, which is really cool. So it's Epically Epic Soap Company. <laughs> How cool. That's a really cool name. Everything smells incredible already. I already smell it. And she has some of the most incredible choices of lip balms, you guys. I'm all about lip balms. I swear, I usually buy like six packs of them. <laughs> Oh my gosh, so many things, so many goodies. There's all of my lip balms now. So I'm obsessed with lip balms. I have one in the living room, one in the kitchen, one in my studio here, one by my med side. Um, I have one in my rocking chair for Mila. <laughs> well, for me, when I rock Mila, I have one in my car, one in my backpack, <laughs> I swear. and one in the office. So, and I always run out of them. So let's hear some of the drooly, yummy, tasty names because they all sounded incredible. So I got literally a bunch. So it's lavender marshmallows. Like, oh my God, you guys. I love that these are vegan and Mm, they seem very buttery, very wonderful. Chocolate chip cookies, red velvet cake, cardamom vanilla. I want to try that one. Oh, wow, that sounds so good. Green tea and mint, ceiling stars. Oh, this is so cosmic. Oh my gosh, it smells like perfume. Milky chai, ombre floral cake. Oh my gosh, hipster picnic. And blueberry muffin. Epic solid lotion. I wash my hands so much nowadays. 
I need lotion right after that. Oh my gosh. This will be perfect for cuticles. And I also got she butter and aloe lotion too. Oh, dude. Oh, this is so gorgeous. trying it oh my gosh you see that's this is exactly what i love about small business like you can tell the quality the care the thought that went to went into everything i absolutely love it so i'm forever forever customer promising so now this company reached out to me and said that they do honey honey products and i love honey <laughs> who doesn't love honey so I got a bunch of stuff from them. So I got a few uh, patties out there. So it's dark chocolate orange honey patties. Obviously it's with honey. Uh, similar patties with mint. Non-toxic. <laughs> then this one is cocoa. And the last is raspberry. All of them sounded so yummy i thought it was such a unique product you don't have enough of true honey products on, uh, on the market right now all you have is just full of sugar so this one is raspberry honey spread basswood honey wild flower honey <laughs> how cute and cinnamon apple all of these sounded so good so i wanted to give them a, ch a chance and a taste and they were very inexpensive just a couple dollars i thought if you guys ever want to do like a basket a gift basket these things go so well it's just everybody everybody adores honey honestly especially when it's uh, different flavors of honey like different spreads they're so much better for your health than any um, plant-based oils, you know, like palm oils and all that kind of stuff. So, And this is a farm, so you're supporting a farm. How sweet. Just to show you the ingredients so that you know that it's packed of only goodness. Ingredients are pure honey, 100% dark chocolate liquor, and peppermint oil. Patties come in packages like that. How cute, see? Mmm, mm, so good. They're all no. At Honey Acres, we understand all the amazing and delightful ways honey can make life sweeter. We are honey innovators on a mission to endlessly share the naturally delicious and complex flavor notes of honey in fresh, clever, indulgent, and unexpected ways. Our dark chocolate honey patties are a product of over 165 years of that same tireless innovation manufactured on-site in Wisconsin. They contain only three raw ingredients. Over the years, we have learned it's nice to keep things uncomplicated, step back, and let the ingredients speak for themselves. Isn't that cool, guys? Oh, absolutely love it. Just a beautiful message. Okay, so I hope you give them a try, too. So, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this little series. I'm obviously going to continue with them, and you're going to see all of these products everywhere. Please go ahead and support the small businesses. I vouch for all of these businesses right now. They're all incredible quality. So that's that. Okay, guys. Bye-bye. See you soon.